Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about ArcGIS versus QGIS. Now both these softwares are widely used around the globe for GIS purpose. Uh, but there is a billion dollar question. Which one is better? ArcGIS or QGIS? The answer varies upon whom you ask. Some might reply QGIS uh, while others may prefer ArcGIS. It's not only whom you ask uh, but also the purpose of the task decides the choice of the software. So some of the tasks are quick and effective in ArcGIS while others are in QGIS. So let's get started. QGIS is a free and open source software. That is there is no need to pay any penny to buy the software. Whereas ArcGIS uh, it is a commercial software. That means you gotta buy the license to use it. So due to this very reason QGIS is popular among the individual users and ArcGIS has established itself among the users of big organizations offices. So if you uh, used both ArcGIS and QGIS, you might have noticed that ArcGIS takes a relatively longer time to load and uh, this one I've experienced and can clearly tell you that uh, ArcGIS requires longer time in processing than QGIS to perform the similar tasks. For example, if I want to delineate the catchment area of a river basin, the processing of a raster is relatively quicker in QGIS than ArcGIS. At the same time, let me tell you that the handling the map layout is much easier in ArcGIS than QGIS. For example, in order to have multiple layouts in the same screen, I have to keep on locking the previous layouts in QGIS. But this task is very easy in ArcGIS due to the addition of data frames no need to lock any layouts each layout in different data frames can be easily represented in different layouts without any troubles of locking for example let's go to the layout view this is the ArcGIS window uh, you can see uh, two layouts one for this map and one for this uh, river layer okay Similarly, I have the same uh, map and uh, this is the river layer and the save file. In This is QGIS. In QGIS, if I go to the uh, layout manager, if I create two layouts, you can see uh, both this river and uh, map save file. Say I want uh, only the uh, map in one layout I have to go to the window and let's say I'm uh, unchecking the river and if I go back to my uh, viewport look it's already changed right that the river layer is gone so when you want to make change uh, it gets changed in both the layers for that uh, you need to lock in case if you go to ArcGIS Here yeah, even if I uh, uncheck one, for example I uncheck the river layer, see it gets disappeared but the uh, save file layer there is no change, it, it, it remains intact, right, because I have created different data frames, so uh, uh, if I want it back I can click right here. So see that does not uh, impact the other layouts, right, uh, because they are uh, in different uh, data frames so easy to handle uh, unlike QGIS right now, another thing that I have noticed is in QGIS you can install specific plugins to solve different problems in free of cost they are not exactly plugins in ArcGIS uh, though there are extensions but they are not uh, you know free of cost all of them are not uh, free of cost right and let me remind you that uh, you can have only one version of ArcGIS installed on your computer whereas QGIS allows to install its multiple versions in the same computer and uh, the documentation of the guides 
it is very advanced in the ArcGIS but uh, such features are not available for QGIS now if you ask me which is better QGIS or ArcGIS uh, then my answer would be it depends for I have switched between QGIS and ArcGIS on the basis of the tasks to be performed if you are an individual researcher I would recommend you QGIS because it is open source and no need to use the pirated copy that means ethically it is a very good practice and um, I think ArcGIS is appropriate for big organizations uh, that will afford to buy the software so uh, that was my taking QGIS versus ArcGIS uh, kindly share with me your experiences with the QGIS or ArcGIS or both uh, in the comment section thank you very much